confirm. Typically, on average, you have a temperature swing in Siberia of about 84 degrees. Right, okay. so if it's... I'm kidding. I just uh, made that up. Our society. That's true. Goes. I don't want to promote that. I take oh, all yeah, of that yeah, yeah. Back, take it back on live national TV. <laughs> okay, let's talk about what I uh, am okay with here, and that is our travel forecast. This is all true, guys. Green bubbles, and that means we're not having too many weather problems. Now, we are still seeing de-icing at MSP and at uh, Bradley International in Hartford. So there, but in general, we're not seeing a ton of it. Here is what where we could see some delays as we move throughout the day. Boston, Chicago, uh, Seattle, LA. You've got that messy weather pattern that's continuing out west and a couple smaller systems that are impacting portions of the Great Lakes region. In the Northeast today. So here's what we're looking at where it is quiet places like Dallas, Atlanta, uh, down into Orlando. Where is most of the action? Well, that is uh, for the western portions of the country. A closer look. This is what's going to happen as we move through the day today. Those snow levels are going to start to go down. They're going to continue lowering. So we are going to start to see that heavier snow filling in more places. Heavy rain where you're at the lowest elevations and of course some flooding is possible. A look at that Northeast system. We've got rain tomorrow in Pittsburgh and Buffalo and a little bit of icing possible from Burlington down through Boston. So be careful for your Christmas morning if you're uh, hitting the road early on. Guys, in measure of who has a bunch of snow and who hasn't had a bunch of snow. Hey, let's look at your Christmas forecast. We are going to have a system moving through the Great Lakes region. The Ohio River Valley getting some rain, a little bit of iciness as you look up through portions of New England. Cold for the northern tier with some snow and the west coast. For today, you should be in the mid-20s this time of year. Uh, right around average Saturday and Sunday, those temperatures do climb a little bit more on Monday, but still right at freezing. It's the morning temperatures that are really going to take a dive teens both mornings of this weekend single digits next week cold air is uh, really just entrapped across the northern portions of the country a couple different pieces of energy moving through bringing us this un uh, unsettled disturbed weather the snow that's going to add up three to five inches for places like Minneapolis five to six for eastern portions of North Dakota a little system right now that's not doing a whole lot unless you're being impacted by it and then your roads are probably a little slick around International Falls but you'll notice this system really is kind of a quick mover. It's not covering a lot of real estate that is compared to the system we have next. So most of your Christmas day is pretty quiet, but by Sunday afternoon, we're starting to see that snow building in a more widespread system impacting us. Chicago, you guys just can't tweak out a, a, a little snowflake there. You've got the, the rain that continues to come and it's not just that. Take a look at this very, very cold air that's plunging southward. The actual temperatures are going to be significantly colder than we have been. Uh, Quick look though at the wind chills. That's what you're really going to feel Monday morning. It's going to feel like negative 25 degrees in Bismarck.